Hi everybody, Patrick here from EscapeRoomElectronics.com, EngineeringShock.com, and PaintballProps.com uh, with the potential upcoming Canada Post Strike. Um, I'm kind of just taking the day off to uh, clear my head, do some more design work, and just, just have some fun. So what I've done is I've put together one of my newest PCBs. Uh, it's a customizable actuate, linear actuator driver. Uh, it's got lots of different modes. I can control it with... Uh, easily with Arduino, I can uh, modify it and interface with just about any of my other props. Uh, I've also got a wireless controller. So I can open a door or I can open a hidden compartment with this. I can interface this with RFID so you put in the right uh, com you put on the right card and all of a sudden your door opens, your uh, hidden compartment opens. Now the nice thing about these linear actuators is well as with most linear actuators is the fact that they have a limit switch which means that once it, it goes all the way out or all the way in it just stops and stops consuming current. Now the one thing about this, this would be going up on uh, escaperoomelectronics.com very soon and several variants of it because I'm going to make a lot of props out of this. Problem is is the fact that it requires either one extremely large power supply or two medium-sized power supplies, one to drive the digital circuitry and the other one, the actuator. Now the actuator doesn't take a heck of a lot of current. Once it's running, it takes in either direction, it takes about an amp. Problem is, is the instantaneous current. When you turn an actuator uh, in either way, when you have it going in either direction, the unit takes several amps of instantaneous current and your standard uh, AC to DC wall adapter has a shut off if the if it looks like there is a short. So I need to buy some 12 volt 5 amp uh, adapters which plug in right here to get this thing working so that I can actually sell it in uh, sell it to customers with props. So I have got some waiting to do. I've got to order those, but I figured I'd just show it off uh, for the sake just for the sake of showing it off. So let me just show you the board. Now as you can see, this isn't fully populated yet. I've got a few uh, headers right here that aren't connected. Uh, two button headers right here, uh, LED button connectors that I haven't used yet. Uh, I can interface easily with uh, two Arduino uh, pads right here if I want, or I can connect Arduino here or here. I can customize it however I want. Uh, I've got three headers there connected to analog pins of my microcontroller, so I could potentially make it so that uh, a few sensors needed to be breached in order to open or close uh, or pull in or pull out the linear actuator. So I really have a lot to work with here. Um, this is the primary power, powers this digital circuitry. I can add a, f uh, a few jumpers here if I wanted to use this to power both the digital circuitry and the actuator itself. But again, uh, I when I designed it, I knew that the linear actuator would be taking a lot more current than I wanted to have on the primary. I've got 9 volts on the controlling the digital circuitry and I've got in this case 12 volts uh, 5 amps coming from my uh, what my uh, digital power supply my benchtop power supply powering the actuator power side so this is the actuator connected right there uh, brown wire to the lower pin blue wire to the upper pin and what it's doing is it's reversing polarity so if I have it go forward positive 12 volts uh, ground if I want to reverse it 12 volts ground. So I use these relays to switch the logic. And I put the relays in because I didn't want to just limit this to uh, to one actuator. I know that I could I could have used FETs, but I wanted to make sure that I could drive extremely high powered actuators. This is a medium sized actuator, but very reliable. In any case, I just wanted to share uh, wish me luck that Canada Post doesn't go on strike because like many small businesses, I will suffer. But I will, I will persevere. I just might have to go on a bit of a, uh, a break. Anyhow, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, check us out at Escape Room Electronics. It's our new site that is dedicated very specifically to escape room electronic props. Uh, paintballprops.com has a variance of uh, has a little bit of everything. It's got just got, it's got a few gadgets. It's got a few paintball uh, exclusive props. It's got a few escape room props. Um, anything that can be used for either or, and engineeringshock.com has just a bit of everything. Lots and lots of different kinds of gadgets. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you're having a great day, and I hope you have a great upcoming weekend. Take care.